Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name is Al, trail name Lookout. And if you've just watched the last vlog, you will notice that I am in the same place. I started and ended the last vlog and started this one in the same place with this amazing view. Oh my God, isn't it beautiful? It's just incredible. What a thing to wake up to sitting on a mountain like this. When I went to bed, it was just darkness and I didn't know it was here. Wake up and just see this beautiful view. What an incredible morning to start. So today, if you didn't see the last vlog, I am going to be walking all the way to Kennedy Meadows South today. It's 26 miles. My plan originally was to do it and get in tomorrow and do 20, 20, 10, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I did uh, 26 yesterday. I'm going to be doing a 26 mile day today and uh, yeah, we'll be getting into there hopefully this evening if all goes well. So ladies and gents, to update you, it is now 8.30. I've done five miles so far in the last two hours, I think, or hour and a half. And uh, it was all downhill. And now I have 6.2 miles uphill, 2,500 feet of elevation gain. So it's gonna be steady, but it's gonna be long. Um, it's gonna be hot. It already is hot, I'm sweating so much and uh, after that it seems like it's a gradual downhill to Kennedy Meadows so that will be by the time we're done that will be uh, 11 miles or 11 and a half miles to the top and then we'll be going about 15 miles downhill uh, very gradually till we get to Kennedy Meadows. Usually tradition is that when you hit Kennedy Meadows general store if people are on the porch they will applaud you for getting that far so I'm looking forward to a round of applause, a very cold soda, and a cooked meal. Something not cooked on a camp stove. So that's what I've got to look forward to. I've just got to keep repeating the mantra. Cooked food, cold soda, cooked food, cold soda. Whew! It's very, very, very hot. So I'm going to get on because it's only going to get hotter. See you at the top. So this morning I did say that yesterday I hiked with Pisa and I'm hiking with him again and it's time to introduce the man himself. How's it going? Pisa from Boston. <laughs> and uh, this is the man who's setting the pace. I'm just lagging behind today but uh, we've taken a break under this tree that has just absolutely destroyed itself. It's insane. But Pisa thinks it might be a redwood so if you think it might be a redwood, looking at it, because it's splintered so much, leave a comment and tell us. So those snow-clad peaks, that's the Sierras. That's what we're entering in a few days time. It's insane. Pisa, what did you just say about Frodo in Lord of the Rings? Uh, it's, it's the one place we're trying to get. I forget the rest of the quote, but it's a uh, it's very similar feeling. The one place we're trying to get, and it's the one place trying to kill us. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it feel like to just finally see it? Ah, uh, God, I mean, it, it's, the same, it's the same feeling that I got when I saw Mount San Jacinto for the first time, and I wasn't sure I was going over, and my heart just like fell out of my chest. It was, Absolutely crazy. Because it would be like the closest of the high peak. Uh, so I have 8.7 miles to go till I hit Kennedy Meadows. And we have kind of come to a stop for the last hour at this creek. I don't think my feet have moved out of the water. And uh, it's only getting busier here. So it's a popular spot. Super, super hot at the moment. So I think maybe we'll just chill here and then go in a little bit later this afternoon. How are you feeling, Pisa? Uh, it feels great. It's spot day. <laughs> so, Tobe, we met on the bus to the Campo and Cleef, and we've just 
bumped into each other just before you go home from Kennedy Meadows. And Fortuitous. You, yes. Catch up with you just before <laughs> you have to head home. How's it feel? How's your hike been? It's been wonderful. The scenery's been beautiful. It's been hard, but fulfilling. And I've met some really wonderful people. That's amazing. So totally worth coming out. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So what are the future hiking plans? Uh, Colorado Trail in a couple months. And then possibly High Sierra Trail uh, in September. Oh, that's awesome. Incredible. And another person who's got the foot spa going on. Ooh, Yay. Happy, happy feet. Yes. <laughs> Dirty feet held together with Luco tape, though. <laughs> We took the other way around. Finding our way back to trail. Uh, here it is. So, ladies and gents, we were at that river for almost two solid hours, getting sunburned and blistered, but soaking our feet in the beautiful cold stream. It's like eight sets of feet at one point, all in the water. We are about to hit 700 miles and we are also about to hit Kennedy Meadows. Two huge milestones in one afternoon. I don't think that we're gonna be there early enough for the applause though, unfortunately. The general store closes at five. It's now like three. So we're not gonna be able to make nine miles to Kennedy Meadows. So we will not get the applause. No one will be there to clap for us. But we will be there to clap for other people tomorrow, which is good. So the river that's down there is huge and very fast flowing. And usually we think the trail runs along the bank, but because this year the river is swollen, we are doing a rock scramble to get round it. And it looks like there are clouds over Mordor at the moment. It looks like we're walking into a storm. So you can see here quite obviously where the trail was and it's been washed out by the heavy snow melt water. And we're having to scramble over these rocks to keep our feet dry. Yeah, in 2016, the stream was completely dry, but since the, the high snow melt this year, is completely overflowing all the banks. Ladies and gents, yesterday we hit the 25% done mark. Today, at the end of the day, 700 miles. Cheer for me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on bitumen, asphalt, tarmac, one of the three. That's right, we've reached the road, which means we are walking into Kennedy Meadows and we're going to hit the general store first and then we're going to call a shuttle for a ride to a tavern called Grumpy's where we're going to try and get food 26 and a bit miles ladies and gentlemen today has been a tough one I know they're all tough but uh, yeah for sure this is this has been a day where I feel like the hot food and cold drinks are well earned. Oh my god! Don't hug me, I'm stinky. Oh my god. The general store, man. It's so cool to be here. Yo, man, welcome. Thank you. Dude! Hey. Rooster, stitches. 
Ryan, I, I ran the ride with another trail angel. And she randomly got my number from Zappa. So it got very, very late last night and uh, all the hikers stayed on the porch for hours and hours and the whole place was like a summer camp or a party, you know, like uh, it's just loads and loads of people all having fun, all chatting. I didn't make it out to Grumpy's uh, to have food there, but stayed here, had some food of my own. And right up the back, this way, there is free camping for hikers, so it is like a festival up there. There's loads and loads of tents and a few hammocks up there. It is six in the morning. Uh, I couldn't really sleep that well. So I've come out to have a wander around and tell you that uh, finally here. And I can't tell you what it feels like to be here. It's uh, something I've seen in so many other people's vlogs and uh, heard about and read about and finally I'm here. Really when you look at the major points along the PCT you see Campo at the start and then you see Kennedy Meadows and the Sierras and then you see Canada so this is a major major stopping point and it's um, just unreal to be here just such a, a big thing so that's it for me thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.